Mr. Joseph R. Smallwood, and Mr. Smallwood, welcome to the Mother's Day Telethon, the very first ever in Newfoundland. Uh, we were talking just before we went on the air about uh, the late Vera Perlin, and you referred to her as, as the mother of all of this, and I guess she was, really. Yes, she was. Indeed, she was. I would say that Vera Perlin, among a great many Newfoundland women who were great women, distinguished women, women who have been a, an honor to Newfoundland, among them all, Vera Perlin was one of the greats. Her name ought to be remembered and honored, even revered, for many, many decades to come. I know she came to me uh, again and again when I had a certain job that I used to have one time. Mm -hmm. And uh, put the case, and it was done with magnificent truth and uh, integrity and, of course, persuasiveness. And uh, what choice did the government have then or now or any time but to get behind it? Because what she was talking about was uh, we're Newfoundlanders. This is a great thing. This is, this is glorious. Why did, she, why did she take such such an interest in this cause in the beginning? I think that she was a Crosby, you know. Yes. She was a, a Crosby, and all the Crosbys, well, maybe an exception here or there, the Crosbys have been a pretty remarkable uh, a bunch of Newfoundlanders, and she was a Crosby, and she threw herself heart and soul, heart and soul, into this cause. And it's exactly what the cause needed. In fact, isn't that what every great cause needs? Someone to throw himself or herself into it? Heart and soul, blood and guts. Everything into a cause. And all this needed is that the cause should be a great cause. This is a great cause. Mm -hmm. And uh, Newfoundland owes a lot to her work and to her memory. And I think that Newfoundland will always uh, feel that. Newfoundland, I think, will always honor Vera Perlin. And her husband, for other things, Albert, who was my school chum at Bishopfield College for five or six years. We were close chums and friends. That was Albert. As a matter of fact, you know, I'll tell you something. Uh, Albert and I were down to the old casino theater. There was an American troupe of actors and actresses and singers who were there rehearsing for a famous show. And there was a girl who was supposed to be a very good singer. I think she was a good singer. And I was, to put it bluntly, I was a little bit enamored of that girl. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, I was. And anyway, I maneuvered it that when they got through with their rehearsal, I could walk her back to her boarding house. And uh, Albert was with me. And you know what happened? As Albert and I were walking this girl back to her boarding house, which was on Long's Hill, who do you think, what do you think happened? His wife-to-be walks along. Oh, no. Yes. Oh. Uh, Vera, Vera Crosby walks along and sees her intended husband walking along the street with this good-looking American girl who was a singer in this theatrical troupe. And he had the work of the world to convince her that he wasn't with this girl, that I was. And, and, and that was true, too. He, he told her the truth. Anyway, I knew them both before they were married. And one of my heroes in this life, in Newfoundland, our heroine, in this case is Vera Perlin, what she has done, what she has accomplished, the joy and the happiness that she has brought to Newfoundland is beyond telling. I hope you agree with that. I do indeed. Yeah. Um, we all do. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think it's important.